All right, guys, we're going to talk about the Rossi 92. This is an 1892 Winchester clone. I won't go too much into it because there's a lot of videos about this. And what makes it different than the 1873 is it has these additional locking lugs. So it's just a little more durable and robust to handle more powerful calibers. But the drawback is it's not as smooth. So in this video, we're going to look at things to do to smoothen out the action with the lever and also just upgrade various things about this rifle. We're going to do a bunch of things to this to make this sort of a tack cowboy build. I just got this from Sportsman's Warehouse. It's a little, just a little heavy still, racking the lever. And so we're going to improve that. The trigger isn't bad, but I'm going to also measure that and try to improve that as well it does have this safety on top which is what rossi has to do in order to import this so um, i'm not sure if we're going to swap this out but there is a plug that they make in case you do want to remove this safety but there is a half cock safety just like the original and it's perfectly fine so there are some things that we're going to do with this to smooth it out hopefully lighten the lever right um also this loading gate is a little bit heavy we're going to try and lighten that as well uh, along with lightening the magazine spring just so it isn't so hard to load rounds and also so we can load more rounds i was only able to get five rounds of 357 into this so we're going to try and improve that we're also going to swap out to this forend with a citadel left tack forend so let's take a look at all the things we're gonna do. Four pounds. Four pounds, six ounces. So I would say about four, four and a half pound trigger pull. Maybe I'll try and lighten that a bit. Um, I like my trigger pulls around three and a half, maybe three, like my pistols. Let's see if we can actually measure the pull on the lever and try to get a lighter lever pull. I am going to swap out this lever for a large loop lever. Seven, seven and a half pound pull. Eight pound pull. So, I mean, it's about a seven, eight pound pull on this lever. And let's see if we can lighten it up. The primary modification is going to be this reduced tension spring kit from Palo Verde Gunworks. I've read a lot of good things about this. It should lighten and smooth out the action quite a bit. I'm gonna also install this stainless steel magazine plug and reduced power magazine spring, stainless steel magazine spring, and probably clip it a little shorter so we can load more rounds. This is from Online Outpost. This is the large lever loop from Rossi. We're gonna swap that out as well. I prefer fiber optic front sight, so we're gonna hopefully make the fiber optic front sight work. And also this rear sight, Palo Verde also makes this really cool custom lever wrap. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this quite yet. I wanna see how I like it without it, but very high quality. And there's even a DVD instruction. Palo Verde makes a lot of cowboy action aftermarket parts, so make sure to check them out. Last but not least, here's the Citadel Levtac. Forehead. I've already installed an M-lock handle on this. All right, build is done. A little old school, a little new school. This is my tactical cowboy. First thing you'll probably notice is the new Civitel Levtac handrail, M-lock forend. Put a new fiber optic front sight. I did have to adapt the barrel band so it fit with both the front sight and the band. Added this little grip right there on the forend. Swapped out for a new adjustable rear sight. This rear sight's a lot easier to manage. A lot easier to handle than the semi-buckhorn sights. Large loop lever. And that just makes it a lot easier when you're cycling. I don't have to flip my wrist when I cycle with the smaller loop because it has a bigger loop and keep the same angle with my hand. Internally, there's a lighter mainspring. There's also a lighter ejector spring, so the shells don't go flying 10 feet away. I did some light polishing on some of the plungers, so 
on this lever plunger. You can't really see it, but it's right there. Did some polishing so it opens the action a lot easier and it returns the action. So this is a lot slicker than before. It's actually really nice. Uh, kept the safety there for now. It's really just there to get it imported, but might be kind of nice to dry fire it a lot with that safety block in the firing pin. Uh, but it's very smooth. Also, I released some tension on the loading gate by removing some material on the loading gate. Uh, inside the magazine, which you can't see, magazine spring is now stainless steel and I shortened it. And the follower, which maybe you can see right there, follower is also stainless steel now. The trigger pull is lighter because I did alter the angle slightly on the trigger. Good. Three pounds, nine ounces. Three pounds, seven ounces. So about a three and a half pound trigger pull, which I really like. Now let's see how easy it is to cycle with the lever. Three pounds, 10 ounces. Three pounds, six ounces. Three pounds, 13 ounces. So we have about a three and a half to four pound cycling, which is a lot lighter than before. And so I can't wait to test this out. Tactical Cowboy, lever action, and 357 Magnum. Here's some range footage. All right, here's some range footage. Uh, one of the things I noticed was it was not easy to load my wad cutter rounds in this and uh, just lining them up, it had to be perfect. And I also tried some 357 SWC profiles and those weren't that easy either. So I think I'm gonna have to adjust the loading gate, but um, you can see it's super smooth. This is my buddy shooting uh, 357. It's got some kick, but really not bad at all. Eats up 357 and 38 special, like nothing. Really accurate too. I started off shooting this at 20 yards and we moved it closer. So this is a pretty sweet and fun rifle. You're just gonna have to mess with your rounds and or the cartridge guides, which I will modify. I'll probably put some shims in just so the cartridges line up a lot better and load easier.